Hello, and welcome all to another Neon Cab video. I'm Phil, and I'm glad you're here with me. If you're new here, please consider liking and subscribing, and welcome. Today we are taking a look at some updated information about the upcoming Soundlet Yachts 120. When I first started my channel about two years ago, one of the first videos I did was one on top five luxury catamarans to live on full time. I'll go ahead and link that video on screen for you to check out later if you're so inclined. Of these five, one was the Silent Yachts Silent 80. Around the time there were whispers of a larger model and then a bit later we got a few details and the model name, the Silent Yachts 120. What we got were only a few photo renders, but what I saw looked very impressive. Recently, Silent Yachts have come out with more renders, but instead of photos, and we have some 3D models to take a look at now. I wanted to share this with you and also give my opinions on how this yacht is shaping up. So just for a brief history on silent yachts, they were founded on the dream of eliminating the major downfalls of yachting as well as the disastrous effects on the environment without sacrificing luxury. They wanted to establish a new era of sustainable yachting by creating the most innovative and self-sufficient yachts on the market. The owners, Heike and Michael Kohler, have spent over 5,000 days on board their yachts and have sailed over 75,000 nautical miles around the world. They used that experience and desire to create a yacht powered completely from the limitless energy of the sun. Soundlet Yachts is the culmination of a lifetime of their experiences and desires. Soundlet Yacht vessels are fully powered by their prodigious and expansive solar panels covering the full top portion of the superstructure and a veritable wealth of battery banks located within. Now, I'm going to show you their entire video reveal in full. Then we're going to go over it together. First off, I would love to know the software used for the modeling and renders. If anyone happens to know, please let me know in the description below. Okay, so right off the bat, I am not a fan of the windows. On this vessel, the below decks looks kind of like a kitchen knife and I just can't unsee it. The main deck windows is okay and the top deck looks the best, perhaps because it's the most traditional. Also, I feel that the white body with black windows just falls to the design tedium of so many other vessels of just being another depiction of an orca. Maybe white out some of the windows like the Sailing Yacht A did with theirs, just something different would go a long way. Uh, viewed from above, you can see what makes a silent yacht a silent yacht, and that is its prodigious solar panel array. Like on other silent yachts, the flybridge can be completely covered or pivot up for those beautiful days on the waves. The rear panels can also slide away from the center, offering a large multi-purpose deck for loungers, a party, or if the photos can be believed, a helicopter pad. We'll see if this makes it into the final craft. There is a single forward deck with a comfortable L-shaped couch. The main rear deck has a soaking pool, a large dining table, and plenty of additional seating. The upper deck has a dining table as well as a bar. So the video didn't really show the interior at all, but I don't recall interior photos being available the last time I took a look at the Silent Yachts website, so here we go. There are only a few photos, so I'll be brief. 
The first one looks to be a shot of the upper deck looking out toward the bow. Occupying the center of the space is a large dining room table. Assuming I'm right and we are facing forward, to starboard is a food prep area with wine storage, a double sink, and I'd assume refrigerator freezer somewhere within that cabinetry. To port is a large comfortable seating area. One thing I love about catamarans just in general is the sheer width of each area and the incredible amount of window space giving a panoramic view of your current adventure. The second photo is of a bedroom and man does it look cozy. Based on the windows I think this is in the bow of the ship. There is a large bed, large L-shaped couch, and a desk area. I really love the material design here as well. The last photo is a grand bathroom with a large walk-in shower that looks to fit several people or one particularly selfish one. There's also a giant soaking tub and dual sinks. I will continue to keep an eye on the Silent Yachts 120 development, and I'm looking forward to when we can see this vessel in the flesh. So what did you think of the Silent Yachts 120 preview? Let me know in the comments below. If you made it this far, please consider liking and subscribing. It's greatly appreciated. And hey, if you're interested in gaming at all, me and my son have our own gaming channel. I'll link it in the description below. Once again, thank you for spending some time with me here on Neon Cap. I'm Phil. Catch you on the next one. Tell you something I could do I could be running or I'm chasing you But I won't Cause I got better, better things to do Rather spend my precious time Chasing somebody who loves me too